Okay, I think I am just about there. Um, just about stabilized. It's a little bit higher than I anticipated. I probably should have put the uh, removed the surface charge just a little bit longer. Let me see if I can get this to focus. We are at uh, 12.85. Eight five. I don't know why it's not focusing. Sorry guys. There we go. Twelve point eight five. Uh, it's been fluctuating. Twelve point eight four. Twelve point eight five. Twelve point eight five. Twelve point eight four. So uh, I'm ready to restart the test. Uh, this will be the the complete capacity test. And as you can see, I am testing it at uh, C over twenty of its. Uh, so it's capacity divided by twenty. That's typical battery manufacturer amp hour rating. Uh, I could actually bump that up, technically bump that up uh, to what would that be, 4 point, yeah, 4.1, not that that's going to make a terrible difference. My test cutoff voltage is going to be 11.4, that's a little bit deeper than I want to go. Uh, typically you can consider uh, for every tenth of a volt, it's, uh, for every, sorry, for every, you only want to go 50% and it's 1.1 volts to 50%. So each 20th of a volt, or every two tenths of a volt rather, would be 10%. Um, this is gonna take it down just a little bit deeper, but it's a kind of a junk battery, so I don't really care too much. It's more for more for the demonstration. And uh, we'll see how we do. Um, let's get ready, and I'll show you the start. And it'll probably be about 10 hours. That's the whole point. It's capacity divided by 20. That's 20 hours, so it's um, 10 hours will be at 50% at charge. So uh, let's get going. Here we go. Yes, I want to discard the previous test. I've already saved it. And she looks like she started. My fan started. Red light's on. I suppose I could have added it to the same chart. I'm not sure how that would have looked. And come on, a little slow on the uptake. Okay, so there she goes. And you can see we're right back down, getting just about to 12.9, uh, 12.29, sorry, 12.26. We're pulling at 4.1. And uh, basically I'll come back in about 10 hours. We'll see you then. Okay, so I came out in the middle of the night while this test was still going on and uh, realized that I wasn't going to quite make it with the same with the test cutoff voltage at 11.4. I wanted to make sure I got to the half capacity voltage. Um, and so I stopped the test. The, the program has the ability to, to append to the test. So you can see that right now we have uh, burned off 25.74 amps and the voltage is 12.01. So right now the no load voltage, 12.01, and the amps, 25.74. So I'll use that for some calcs a little bit later, but you can see that the discharge curve is very very flat. Every amp hour, every point, the, the amp hours to volts ratio is very consistent. That's why people use battery meters that are based on volts. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and restart it. I've actually lowered my test cutoff voltage to 11.1. Now that's the loaded voltage test cutoff. That's why I decided to change it. And there you go. She started again. Voltage is coming down and I'll get back to you later. Okay, test has completed. The, uh, the no load voltage has recovered to 11.75, maybe a little bit higher than I would have liked. Um, it did get down to 11.1, that red line did drop down to 11.1, and our amp hours got out to 13.23. That's in addition to the 25 we had, add them together, roughly 38 total amp hours, 11.75. Uh, we're about, 
at that rate, if you take 0.1 volts for every, or 0.11 volts for every 10% of usable voltage or usable capacity, we're right around, I'd say 40 or 45 percent capacity, which lines up perfectly with our 38 percent, assuming that the capacity is in fact 82.8. I would say that this battery tests satisfactorily. It has the rated capacity still. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept and save, get this computer out of the way, and I'll come back with a battery charger and show you how that works.